to make. I have not been in my art studio in the last couple of months because I hate it. I know, I know, I know. And hate is a strong word, but I just can't be down here. Uh, there's a few things um, to talk about, okay? So first of all, it's a mess. I have been very busy these last few months and project after project, travel after travel, things have just become super chaotic down here. Like it is just a little bit of a disaster. So first things first, I can't work down here because it's dirty as heck and I need to clean up. Number two, I am no longer vibing with the layout of the furniture. And I don't know about you all, but when I first move into a space, um, be it a workspace or a living space, sometimes it takes a few iterations of a furniture layout to really land on what really sparks real joy for me, right? So I, this room is currently in its, I, I would say 1.5 <laughs> uh, iteration of layout. Um, and I have already drawn up plans for a new layout okay so and it, it may involve new furniture but i'm not really sure yet i've been telling you guys like in multiple videos that i really want a stand-up desk so if i can source one in this video i will but i that's just something that's just been i've been on the lookout for but i'm not gonna not work down here because i don't have that specific desk so i'm gonna keep it moving until the desk pops up if, eventually at some point but um Outside of the furniture needing to be rearranged and hopefully replaced maybe, um, I don't want the concrete floors anymore. I know, I know. In my video, I, when I was first making this space into my studio, I said that I liked the concrete because it gave art studio vibes and it does, but the reality is that I'm in a basement and it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> the end like and I knew it would be cold but it's like colder than I thought it would be so there we are I lived with it for a year and I have realized that I want to put flooring down so as you saw I went and got flooring but pro tip you should definitely visit your local Habitat for Humanity restore because a lot of times you can find home improvement materials for the dirt cheap I was able to get flooring for not only this room but also my laundry room which is right next to this essentially my whole basement for less than 200 like 200 bucks it was something around 60 cent per square foot for this wood laminate flooring excuse me we love a good deal so I'm gonna be able to put the flooring down and I also am sick and tired of the lighting in here. It's not giving what it needs to give. It's a boob light for one. I can't stand boob lights. So I got some recessed lighting and I'm hoping to put some recessed lighting up in this video as well. So those are the things that I'm going to do to kind of refresh and just bring this studio renovation into completion because the first phase of it was exactly what it needed to be but there were things like the lighting and possibly the floors and some other furniture things that I knew I was going to have to get at some point um so this is that point so first things first I need to clean like it's a disaster in here so let's get to cleaning it's going to be a very 
fun, vibey Friday night cleaning up my art studio. I am really looking forward to having this space back into a like space to cultivate creativity hopefully by next week so I can get started on working again because I have been taking some time off for these last couple weeks and it has been amazing but I'm ready to get back to it so let's go. gone and we're prepped and ready to put the under limit down i took my time with the trim and cleaned it up i scraped all the wood off the bottom and i sand the top and it looks pretty good and i can reuse it so i'm very happy with that i want to take my time because i didn't want to mess it up because i want to reuse it so Oh my gosh, technical difficulties. <laughs> so yeah, I have this underlayment. It has a vapor barrier layer built into it. So that's important for concrete floors. So I'm going to put this down. Oh wait, no I'm not. Not yet. First I gotta demo the closet. The closet still has carpet in it from the original flooring. But then we'll put the underlayment down. So I'll see you when we do that because pulling up carpet is easy. It, it'll only take a second, one second. Then we put the underlayment down. The same.
vapor barrier slash underlayment down and it looks pretty good i think <laughs> i think it's gonna work just fine and now i am ready to take a break eat some lunch and then come down and put the floors down like the mood has and the energy in here already feels different just with the underlayment down something about that gray concrete floor just like was not doing it for me anymore like this is already making me feel better just seeing the concrete covered up okay <laughs> So I got so much done yesterday. I'm very proud of myself. Do you hear that? That's me walking on hardwood floors <laughs> in my studio. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I even laid down the shoe molding or the quarter round, whatever you want to call it. I laid them down in these two places. I haven't attached them yet, but like I laid them down. It looks so finished. They look so much better than they did before. I'm going to do a neater job with the caulking this time because I think it was one of my first times caulking. It was my, I think it was my first time caulking when I did my studio last year and i just made such a mess and it was such a pain to clean them off so i'm going to do a better job with that this time but i have two more pieces to put down right here um the space in front of the door is going to stay unfinished for now because this is going to continue out into the laundry room but I obviously cannot do that now because my furniture is in there and also there is still peel and stick flooring on the laundry room floor and I have to remove that and it's a pain. It's a pain. And so I don't want to deal with that right now. That'll be a project for Jay and I um, in the near future, but I definitely don't want to do it alone. So I have to make him do it with me because removing that stuff is such a pain and then removing the glue off the ground is the worst part so anyway um and yeah i know this from doing it upstairs in the kitchen and in the entryway <sighs> flashbacks but um yes i am so happy with this it looks amazing it feels good like when i take my slippers off like the floor feels cool but then when i come over here to the door and put my foot on the concrete underneath the underlayment the concrete's so much colder and like i knew that you guys like i knew the concrete would be cold i didn't think it would be so cold bro and so the the coolness of this floor currently is perfect the temperature in here feels good the smell is better um yeah so i have 
a gym date today with my friend Michelle. So I am going to get the rest of these, these two planks cut and laid down. And then I'm gonna actually attach the shoe molding. I actually have a couple pieces I need to go cut and I'm happy I have leftover from last time I worked on this. So I have some small pieces by the door I need to recut and then attach the shoe molding. And then I can start moving my furniture back in. My recess lights arrive in the mail today. So I will install those whenever those arrive but i can start putting the furniture back in i think and start seeing how the new arrangement feels and play around with the arrangement because this studio is getting done today i want to hang stuff up on the walls i'm hoping that my new arrangement i think allows more space to hang things on the walls but anyway i'm getting excited and ahead of myself um so yeah, let us, let me <laughs> keep installing this stuff. It's so early in the morning, so excuse my voice, but it's, let's, let's finish this flow. All right, lovely people, I am back from the gym and running multiple errands. My hair looks silly like this. I went to the gym this morning. I ran multiple errands, went to multiple stores, did some shopping, but what's most important is that I went and I got some caulk. Caulk! And so before I left to go to the gym, I nailed all of the trim into the wall and it looks awesome in here. I slid some chairs in here just cause I couldn't get in and out of the room, but it looks awesome in here. I'm ready to try out this caulk. Normally I buy the caulk in the like t the cylinder that you load into a caulk gun and like pull the trigger for the caulk to come out. I've never used this squeezy tube type but something tells me it's gonna be better because i low-key hate the caulk gun and so i'm hoping that this gives me more control and is easier to use and then after i do that this claims that it only needs 20 minutes to dry before you can paint over it so after i do that i have my trim paint and i got it in a satin finish and um, I could have just used the regular wall paint that I had in this color because it's the same color as the walls. It's called white stone. But trim paint is a little more heavy duty. It's a little more scuff resistant. And um, so I just like to make sure I'm using the right thing because I want that nice finish. Um, I am definitely one of those DIYers that gets to like the last 5% of the project and then lose steam all the time. So finishing up this trim with the caulking and the painting is like revolutionary for me because I never take the time to do that stuff. So I am very proud of myself. We're going to knock this out. We'll give the paint time to dry and start moving the furniture back in. First of all, yes, yes to this. This is a yes from me. Uh, very easy to use. I caulked the whole damn room in like three minutes. Uh, the hole stayed very tiny. The flow is awesome. It stops flowing once I stop squeezing it, which is something that the stupid caulking gun never does. And I 100% recommend this, the squeezy tube version. Hell yeah. Um, I am just set a timer for 20 minutes. I'm gonna let the whole room dry and then we're going to get to painting. I just have to tell you guys, I loved this. <laughs> like if you're a DIYer, 
yes to this squeezy cock stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is done the trim is done everything is painted there was a wardrobe change I showered I put on something a little breezier because it's hot <laughs> and I'm ready to move the furniture in wow All right, I have moved in all of the large pieces of furniture and this is what we're looking like. And I am loving this layout so much more. I'm over here by the built-in. Um, but now I have so much stuff literally everywhere. Like there's a bunch of extra stuff on these built-ins. Um, I still need to put the shelves back into the bookcase, put all the stuff back on there, like put the things back on there. Like my laundry room, my poor laundry room is a disaster. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. There's so much stuff I need to organize and put away now. And I have a lot of storage down here, but there is more that I could be doing. I could be doing it better so i'm going to spend tonight um organizing all of my supplies and trying to find a better system and i am not going to share that because that could be a video of its own like organizing all of my art supplies so i'm not going to even break into that can of worms but i just saw that finally because it's damn near sunset my amazon delivery was delivered and my um recess lights are here so i'm going to go get that and then i don't know if i'm going to actually install those um because it's late and i want to make dinner it's sunday i want to make a good old big old sunday dinner i think i'm going to make like pork schnitzel with some sides and apple pie for dessert okay but the studio is looking amazing like i am obsessed i have this big blank wall behind me which also makes me very excited like i don't know if i want to use that space as like a work in progress area or if i want to use it as a place to like display art like there's so much going on right here that i don't know i don't know i gotta brainstorm on it i thought i would be completely done and everything would be set up today but um it's not oh my god i hate how much the lighting changes um <laughs> down here i can't wait to put those lights in but that may have to be done tomorrow because i really and pleased with the amount of work that I've gotten done and just in love with the new flow. Oh my God, it just flows so much better. <sighs> Obsessed, okay, okay. I will see you all tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. So 
scissors go. I need to find my scissors. Let's do this again. <sighs> yes, the desk still squeaks. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> okay. Here are my lights. Let's try to install this bad boy. And this, my friends, is when things really started to take a turn for the worst. I was so young and naive. Look at me, looking at the lights, admiring how flat and modern they look. Look, look at that, look at me. Look at how small the junction box is. Ugh. Girl, I went up into this ceiling, okay? And what I found was nothing less of chaotic, okay? Like, it looked nothing like the examples of what I saw on YouTube videos, the dozens that I watched, where people would take their light down, open up the box, and it would just be two little cords dangling and you can take the junction box out pretty easily. Nope, that was not my experience. Not even a little bit, not at all. Um, it was a billion goddamn wires up there. And to be more accurate, more like eight or something like that. Like seven or eight wires up there. They were caked in paint and dusty and hard to move. And the junction box is nailed in to the joist, but like parallel to the ceiling. So like not anything that you can reach from like the teeny tiny crevice that was available. Like it, I just was like, I got so overwhelmed that I had to just like take it, take a break. I just had to like stop with the light because I think I just got really fixated on the fact that I wanted these recessed lights so the fact that like it wasn't easy to do like really almost broke me low-key but I was trying to stay optimistic so I was just doing things that I knew that I could do so I changed out my blind I took down the like kind of like builder grade commercial blinds that they had in here and I put up one that um belonged to my husband for a really really long time and I hung up some art and things like that but yeah the the light situation I had to bring in the big guns for so yeah we we address it I've been plugging away at this for a few hours and I'm definitely losing steam um, I think it's because I need food, but I'm also just kind of over it. <laughs> I'm tired of organizing. There's still a good amount to be done, but ugh, this light, but, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see, this is looking way more empty now. I've been emptying that out because I think I decided I want to use this as a bookcase only bookcase and decor so all of the art supplies is now over here on this uh bookcase so yeah oh, I'm freaking tired I want to take a nap I am going to jump back into this later or tomorrow because the light situation is still pending y'all it's still pending i i i don't want to get into it right now i just we're, we're we're working on it we're working on it. i have enlisted my elite employee okay but now you have been promoted you are now one of my elite employees <laughs> my husband um because he actually is a little bit more savvy with well he's a lot more than me savvy with electricity but he's not like an expert by any means but he has more experience so he's going to help me and i think maybe we'll tackle that tomorrow because i'm tired i thought i was going to want to tackle it with him this evening but y'all i need to go lay down
I'm tired of bending up and down, up and down, back and forth, back and forth, using my daggone brain to figure out like what makes the most sense to go where. <laughs> but look at my laundry room. Wow, looking so much better. Yeah, ignore that there's still a lot of stuff right there. But I decided I wanna store my market items out here. Um, I was trying to cram everything into my studio, but the reality is like this unit is really underused. So I am going to use it more. We don't ever use this countertop for literally anything. Um, sometimes I will iron right there, but our ironing board's really tiny and can still fit up there and be used. So yeah, just trying to be a little smarter after a year in this space, understanding like how, understanding now like how we use the space it is a little easier to organize and figure out like where i want things to go so yeah we're getting somewhere as always it's taking me longer than i wanted it to <laughs> but it's okay it'll be all worth it in the end it really will it'll be worth it all right i'll see you all later I hate getting to that part of a organized session where it's just like all of the little things. There's like a billion little things. That's the part that I'm on right now. So it just feels like it never ends. Like I just am never getting to the end. But I'm hanging things up. I'm getting this these shelves together. I think I like where it's going. It looks a lot more organized, especially up there at the top too. Like it's just, it's looking better. And it's still not done, I'm still not done. Um, I just brought my backpacks in cause I, <sighs> confessions of a backpack addiction, okay? I brought my backpacks in cause now I need to empty my backpacks. They have art supplies in them. Like all of them have just random things. So yeah, and then this is my basket full of um, market junk, okay, that has accumulated over time. So I really need to go through that too and I really don't want to, but I need to because it's literally a billion little things. <laughs> but um, we are getting somewhere with the organization and then I think I'm gonna try and work on this Thank you. On this wall behind my desk. I think I want to put like a little gallery wall situation kind of. We'll see. I have a tendency to really like underplay myself. And this is something I'm working on is really. So this is where things got frustrating, then awesome, then frustrating again. Uh, my husband came down to take a look at the mess of wires in the ceiling and we came to the conclusion that I would not have my recess lighting. So bummer. Okay, cool. But I was able to get him to like clarify, you know, what wires go where and like where the electricity is flowing in the basement. It's so confusing. And um, he ended up putting in this flush mount LED light that I got, which was my plan B all along. And it worked. And look at how happy I am. I was so excited. Look look at the light. It's so bright. It's so amazing. I'm, I'm overjoyed. What we will soon learn after this is that the laundry room lights don't work now for some reason. And so... He had to go to work the next day, so we ended up having to turn the power off to the basement for like about 24 hours while he figured out why the wiring was not working and like why the laundry room lights weren't working anymore. And it essentially ended up just being like a loose wire, like when we put the light back up in there, just want something kind of became unloose. And so he was able to fix that and all of the lights work in the basement now safely and everything is cleaned up up there and it was emotional okay but we have light down here it's better than the boop light i'm very happy with it it was a roller coaster ride y'all
But let's get back to putting up artwork and putting on these final touches for the studio because at this point I've been working on it for longer than I wanted to obviously so um, I'm ready to be done with it all right because I am ready to get back to work. a wrap on the studio makeover slash refresh I am really really pleased with how much we were able to get done in just under a week it feels amazing in here the energy is light and fresh and I'm just ready to make all of the beautiful things in the studio again um, I am really excited about some of the future projects that I have up here that I'm ready to get out of my head and onto some paper. So stay tuned to my channel for more studio vlogs where we're actually going to be creating art again. I'm really, really looking forward to those moments. Let me know what you think about any of the things that we added to the studio. Unfortunately, we were not able to replace the desk this time around, but maybe in the future we will. I love to hear your feedback. What do you guys think about the floors? Would you have gone with something different? Let me know. I will see you all in my next video, okay? All right, bye. Not the squeaky damn desk. <laughs>